it's your girl Elijah Tyra and I'm back with another video so like comment subscribe share um I'm kind of in the middle of on my way to the gym you know I ain't trying to get this good workout in um but I had something that I like really really need to say real quick just because I feel like it is incredibly vital for the times that we're living in um so yeah it's not gonna be like a regular food review I'm not even reviewing no food I ain't eat no food because like I said, I'm on my way to the gym to go work off what I ate yesterday. Okay. But um, anywho, I feel like we as a community, it was just something that I was thinking about this morning that I feel like really needs to be said. Um, just because I don't think it's preached enough. Um, I don't know if it's something that we lack within our own community or our culture or whatever. But um, I don't understand why as a community, we only show up and show out for each other when something bad happens. tell if y'all don't know i drink these little aloe drinks just because aloe is so good for your skin it keeps you moisturized it keeps you hydrated it keeps your little pocketbook you know i ain't saying on skin if you know what i mean you know what i mean but anyways um that's not the hearing of there that was just a little help to because y'all see me drinking this but anyways um i don't understand why our community only seems to want to show out show up and show out for each other when something bad happens and when i say something bad happens like why does it take for the george floyd george floyd situation to occur for us to want to get on one accord and for us to want to get together and do something positive for our community or try to do something that's going to be life-changing for our community and it's not even just something on the scale of something being that big um i noticed with family they only seem to want to show up at funerals. Why don't nobody show up when you get a promotion at your job? Why nobody seems to want to show up when you have the small wins? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, or they show up for, like, birthdays and stuff like that. But other than that, like, we don't show up and show out for each other. Now, you have your select few, that one person in the family that shows up to every function. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be good or bad. But I noticed for the most part, in today's day and age we only get together for the negativity you know what i'm saying or come together when something sad or depressing happens and i feel like it almost is disingenuine because it shouldn't take something negative happening for us to want to get together like i don't know i remember growing up we didn't need an excuse to come together you know what i'm saying we didn't need to say oh it's a holiday now we need like no like somebody used to throw a party on the block that's another thing don't nobody have block parties no more like block parties used to keep us you know what i'm saying tight knit um but i just noticed that a lot of this stuff just doesn't occur anymore so it's causing this separation or this disconnect within our community where i think a lot of us are missing that whole foundation of unity you know what i'm saying where we're really there for one another like i said i don't know what made me think about this this morning but I really was just I woke up and was just like we don't do this no more like and it's almost sort of sad because I feel like that's what this younger generation is missing is that sense of community that sense of unity that sense of support that sense of being there for one another and it's just it's crazy so like I said this video ain't gonna be that long but I just feel like it's something that needs to be said um people need to come together more you know what i'm saying if you're the type of person that can't come together because you feel somewhat slighted for this person's wins then you some more internal work that you need to do because somebody else's win shouldn't make you feel inferior you know what i'm saying like i don't know like i just i don't know maybe i'm a different type of person where this is the type of community or the type of people that i crave to be around is the ones that support you through and through whether it be good or bad you know what i'm saying but i feel like it's a lot of changes that need to be had because of the direction that we're going in as a people like i said it shouldn't take oh the next person to be gunned down by the police for us to want to come together and do something and that's another thing i also feel like protesting does nothing it literally does nothing and y'all probably wondering like okay but you don't even go to the protest you dang on right i don't go to the protest because i don't feel like they do anything i'm just being completely honest 
the last person that was marching in the street that made any real change was Dr. MLK. And y'all see what they did to him. They shot him down and then turned his name into a holiday. And it ain't even on the day of his birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, marching to me does nothing. It's like we're begging the same people that oppress us and keep us at a, a low vibrational state to change. They ain't gonna do that. If they was gonna do that, they would have done that. Like, any real changes you gonna make is not gonna come from protesting and marching i'm just being real with y'all a lot of people may not want to hear that you know what i'm saying but it's the truth what real changes do you need to make maybe separating ourselves from this system you know what i'm saying or, or stop buying into the system in itself you know what i'm saying like y'all don't want to hear that but it's the absolute truth like i'm just gonna keep it a buck 50 with y'all everybody else might lie to y'all but i ain't about to do that mm -mm, i ain't got time i ain't got time nor I don't, I don't have the patience okay i am the voice of truth I'm going to tell y'all the truth whether y'all like it or not. And like I said, a lot of the stuff that I think people do, it doesn't cause any real change. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, no, you're not about to catch me marching on the boulevard with nobody because that ain't going to do nothing. It's not, not going to do a thing, okay? Any real change one has to come from that self first you know what i'm saying in the way that you see yourself the way that you treat yourself in the way that you treat other people you know what i'm saying but it's not gonna come from no protest like i said i'm not here for begging these people to change because if they was gonna do that they would have been did that that's just the real tea people could sit up here and not like it i be like, oh, I think that's wrong to say. When is the last time you seen a protest make any real change? We're just walking for nothing. Mm -mm. I'm going to save my steps <laughs> for something else. But anyways, um, like I said, I just feel like we as a community need to stop showing up for people or stop showing up for one another when something negative happens. When something negative happens is when y'all finally decide, oh, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Support one another. No. Let's support each other when positivity happens when a person gets a promotion when a person has a baby you know what i'm saying just anything positive and i noticed like just for an example y'all all and then the reason why i say it seems disingenuous when something finally does happen because i notice a lot of people only support somebody when it is conducive to them like for instance you got the football player that's going off to the nfl oh y'all all, all want to show up to when he getting drafted into the league from the NFL. But how many of y'all actually supported that baby when he was having those games? You know what I'm saying? When when he was, you know what I'm saying, on the field in middle school. How many of y'all actually went to his games then? But everybody and their mama want to show up and show out when he getting drafted. Like, nah. And you got to realize at that point, it's too late. Don't come support me now because you didn't support me in the beginning. That's where that whole, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym comes from. You know what I'm saying? And then people wonder why you get to a certain place within your life and you start to, I guess, act funny in a way and you don't include people in because you didn't support me in the beginning. So why support me now? Because it's beneficial and you think you're going to get something out of it. Don't wait until, you know what I'm saying, the child gets drafted in the league to want to support him. No, support all 511 games he done had up until this point. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I noticed it, it, people pick and choose when they want to support people when it's beneficial to them and like i said at that point it just feels disingenuine so like i said so you don't come off as disingenuine and it's nothing to support the next person at all you know what i'm saying don't wait until the last minute you know what i'm saying because at that point if i was him don't come you're not invited all those people that was in those stands for all umpteen years that i was playing on the field y'all come but you absolutely not absolutely not and i don't care that you had to work because people make time for what they want to make time for you can make time for a vacation that you want you know what i'm saying you can make time for that dude or that woman that you want but you can't make time to support somebody that you so-called love mm -mm. no nah, that ain't, we, that ain't cutting it this season you feel me so like i said for all y'all that's watching this video and y'all either feel the way that i do or maybe i'm opening up a conversation that Maybe some of y'all was thinking, but just didn't say. This needs to be heard. You know what I'm saying? People need to change the way that 
we interact with one another and the way that we support one another. Like, I don't know what it is about this generation. I don't know if it's because everybody, Big Mama is gone to the point where, you know what I'm saying, the glue that kept everybody together is just everybody over here, everybody over there, everybody doing this, you know what I'm saying? But something gotta, something gotta change, you know what I'm saying? And it's not gonna start with, oh, the oldest person in the family or the young, it starts with yourself. Change the way you interact with yourself and change the way you interact with the people that's in your environment and the people that surround you. You know what I'm saying? If people don't appreciate it after a while, find you in the group. That's just that. You feel me? But anyways, um, I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope y'all take heed to what I just said. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Anybody get this good work out here? You know what I'm saying? One and two and three and four and get them sit-ups right. Okay? Real Kanye. Okay? Kanye workout plan. But anyways, y'all have an amazing day. Bye.